Let's face it, job hunting can be quite competitive. Even with more and more companies exploring virtual staffing solutions, finding the right role and actually getting it can be very challenging. Why? Because while there are many virtual assistant opportunities, you're still competing with applicants from all over the world. So the real challenge here is standing out from the crowd. In a previous video, I shared the do's and don'ts of creating an awesome resume. If you haven't seen that video, I'll make sure to include the link right here in the description below. But aside from a comprehensive resume, something that can really help you give yourself an edge is the letter of intent or LOI. Hi, I'm Anna and I'm the Marketing Recruitment Specialist here at 24-7 VA and in this video, I'll share the tips on making a well-crafted letter of intent. But before we start, you might be asking yourself, why is the letter of intent so important? LOIs can help you make a good impression. While not all workers will ask you for a letter of intent, submitting one with your application allows you to make an impact. You are making the most impactful first impression you can make even before the recruiter interviews you. And you're also showing your sincerity. A well-crafted LOI shows that you took time to consider the role and research the prospective client. Instead of just sending your resume to every job opening you see, you practice due diligence in getting to know the role and the company you're applying for. You're able to express your interest in the role in a more specific way displays good written communication skills. An LOI is a great way to highlight your experience and how well you will fit the role. Additionally, it's a good venue to showcase your writing prowess. Your ability to tell a story and convince a recruiter to consider you for a role can be fully displayed with an LOI. The hiring company requires it. This might be a no-brainer, but if a letter of intent is part of the application requirements, then you must write one and write it well. Now that I've shared why LOIs are important, let's discuss the pre-work. Before you even start writing the letter, make sure you've done your research. Learn about the role you're applying for. Read the important information like the types of tasks that you are expected to do, or maybe the systems that you, that you will need to use, etc. Be aware of the skills and work experience your client is looking for. Get to know your prospective client. This includes company's background, core values, product portfolio, and recent business updates. Also, know exactly what you can offer in terms of abilities, experience as a virtual assistant, and work ethic. You can use all this important information while writing the LOI to position yourself as a standout candidate. Once you've done your pre-work, then it's time to write your letter of intent. So let's review some essential tips. You can personalize with some accents to break away from the monotony of black and white documents. But still, keep it simple just to show professionalism and that you're serious about the role. Also, use a simple, readable font style with enough spacing. Remember, you don't want recruiters to strain their eyes just to try to read your letter. Include the day that you wrote your LOI. This will show that you are personalizing and not just using a template for every application. Address C. If you know the name of the client or the recruiter, use it. If you don't, you can use a generic title like hiring manager or recruitment head. Also, salutation. It depends on the industry you're applying for, but a simple dear and the name of the person or the title is sufficient. The body of your LOI should include these three main paragraphs. Paragraph 1. Start with a simple introduction expressing your interest in the position you're applying for. For example, I'm interested in applying for the virtual assistant position for company ABZ. Then follow up with your current job or position. With this first paragraph, you're establishing two main things. Number one, the job you're applying for, and number two, your current work and qualifications. This will help recruiters, though, especially those pressed for time, know your intent and get the initial impression of what you can offer. Paragraph two, this is where your research comes in handy. Actually, the second paragraph should include the following. Add 
details of why you would like to work with this company as a virtual assistant. Keep it short, but highlight you're the right candidate. Like, sell yourself, right? Make sure your letter is unique and not generic. Include one or two key work experiences, and if you can, quantify them with numbers or figures. Try and marry what you can offer and what the company is looking for. Include your relevant skills and how your values align with the company's values. Paragraph 3. Closing. After you build your case as a strong VA candidate with Paragraph 2, it's time to end with impact. Be straightforward. If you think you're the right person for the role, just go ahead and say it. You can also create some intrigue or interest by saying that your resume's work experience and achievements should back up that claim. They will most likely be reviewing your resumes, but they will also know exactly where to look at. Create a call to action. Make sure to end it welcoming an opportunity to speak with the recruitment team about the role and your work experience. Say thank you and sign off. Don't forget to thank recruiters for their time and consideration. Busy people have very limited time to spare, so you should thank them for spending time uh, to reading your letter. Sign off with your name. Some foolproof and professional sounding ways to say goodbye are like best regards or sincerely. Now that we cover the essentials, it's time for a couple of reminders of what not to do on your letter of intent. Don't just copy what's on your resume. It's important to respect recruiter's time. And having them read the same information twice is not a good way of showing that. Your LOI should set you apart from the competition, so copying and pasting is not the right way to do that. Do not create generic letters of intent, especially if you're applying for different functions or companies in different industries. You want your LOI to show that you're serious about the application. But using a generic LOI may backfire and endanger your chances of getting that job. Don't forget to proofread. There are a lot of online tools that can help you with your grammar and syntax. Please make use of them. Your LOI should be professional sounding and free of any grammar or syntax errors. Don't make your letter too long. Limit your LOI to just one page, since most recruiters will likely go through different applications and for multiple positions. You should respect other people's time, so cover the most important things from the get-go. And speaking of making things too long, I think it's time to end today's video. I really hope these simple tips for creating an LOI were really helpful and can help you set yourself apart from the other candidates. If you have any other questions, make sure that you put them in the comments below. We'll get to them. Remember also to subscribe to the 20% MBA YouTube channel for more practical virtual assistant tips and hit that bell just to make sure that you get a notification for when we upload another video see you next time bye